This is module 37 of Mechanics and Materials part one. Today's learning outcome is to calculate the principal strains, the maximum in-plane shear strain, and the orientation of the principal planes based on the strain gauge rosette measurements that we had. And so here's where we uh, left off last time. Uh, we had these three uh, in-plane uh, strains, normal strains that were measured. We went ahead and found the in-plane strains, both normal strains and shear strain. Now, today, we're going to go ahead and use Mohr's circle to find the, the principal strains, max in plane shear strain, and the orientation of the principal planes. So here is our uh, in-plane strains. And what I'd like you to do now is to draw a small uh, element and show the strains on that element and come on back. Okay, here is the element with the strain shown on it. And now we're going to draw more circle for strain. Let's start with the vertical face where I have 600 in tension strain, normal strain, so that's positive. And then I have a counterclockwise shear strain of 150, but I plot gamma over 2, so that's going to be minus 75. So I go out 600 and then down 75 for my horizontal face. And for my vertical face, I've got 350 positive because it's in tension. The shear strain is going to cause counterclockwise rotation, so it's po uh, positive by my shear con convention. I use half of 150 again, so I'm going to go 350 and then up 75, and that's my vertical face. So 350 and 75. And I leave the muse off again uh, for shorthand. I can draw a line in between these two for my diameter, and then I can draw my Mohr circle. Okay, uh, first thing I want to do is find the center. That's going to be the average strain. So we've got um, 600 plus 375 divided by 2 for our average normal strain, which ends up being 475. So this is 475 and 0. Let's now do the radius. So I've got the radius is equal to, um, let's take this triangle here. I've got 600 minus 475 squared plus 75 squared. And the square root of that will give me my radius. And the radius ends up equaling, if you calculate that out, 145.8. And so now I can draw a line up from the center to the very peak of the circle. That's going to be my uh, point, well that'll be 475 for the normal stra strain and then 145.8, which means that um, the gamma max over two is 145.8 or my max in-plane shear strain is going to equal twice that, or 292 mu radians. I still want to find my principal strains. Uh, if I add the radius to 475, that's going to give me my first principal strain. So epsilon sub 1 is going to be 475 plus 145.8 and then rounded to three significant figures, that gives me 621 mu millimeters per millimeter. And my other principal strain, epsilon two, is going to be 475 minus the radius of 145.8. Uh, and so that's going to equal 329 mu millimeters per millimeter. That's our other principal strain. Okay, and so that's a good uh, shear, excuse me, good Mohr circle for strain. Uh, here I've gone ahead and plotted it out so that it's, it's uh, much cleaner and easier to see. Uh, the last thing I want to do is find the orientation of the, the principal planes from the xy axis. So let's take from the horizontal face, this angle 2 theta sub p on Mohr circle. And so sine of 2 theta sub p 
is going to be equal to the opposite side, which is 75 over the uh, hypotenuse, which is the radius, which is 145.8. And so if you calculate that out, that gives you 2 theta sub p equals 30.96 degrees. Uh, that's twice the angle on the, on the uh, small element uh, or the small block. And so theta sub p is equal to 15.5 degrees. And we're rotating counterclockwise from the horizontal face. So I can now draw a properly oriented stress block or st stress or strain block. So we can now draw a properly oriented uh, block. And so I have my horizontal face, and I'm going to rotate 15.5 degrees from the horizontal. So this is 15.5 degrees. And on that face, we're going to have epsilon sub 1. Uh, our principal strain, principal normal strain is 621 mu millimeters per millimeter. It's positive, so it's going to be in tension. So this is 621 mu millimeters per millimeters. I turn 180 degrees on more circle, which is 90 degrees on my, uh, on my block, and I get positive 329 mu millimeters per millimeter. And we're going to have equal on the other sides. And so that's a good oriented stress block. And uh, we've solved the problem. And so uh, you should have a good handle now on finding uh, strains experimentally, converting them to the in-plane strains uh, for two dimensions, and then using that data to find your max or your in-plane uh, principal strains and maximum shear strain, in-plane shear strain, and the orientation for that. And so we'll pick up again next time.